Good morning, everybody. This is a Tabletop Warrior coming to you live from uh, Tennessee. I just wanted to take a few moments to just kind of show uh, my viewers uh, what the command center looks like. Uh, so just a quick history. This was a custom-made uh, tabletop board uh, that I actually built um, almost two years ago. Now, the purpose of this actual tabletop board was actually built for Access and Allies anniversary edition so as you can see it has compartments for each of the six factions on um, both sides and then I built in actual dice trays on both ends of the table and then each one of these compartment boxes actually has a purpose I think this one uh, that one holds the money chips and then I think those are uh, the battle trays and so on right here this is actually custom made to fit the actual Axis and Allies Anniversary Edition board uh, this is something that I built uh, I think it was a couple of months ago nothing fancy just it's just a simple uh, holder uh, it can be put on the side of, uh, of whatever side you're on and you can just leave it there and you can place uh, the rule book or if you're looking at a chart to help you with the game uh, when I'm not using it for that purposes, I simply put it here where both players can see uh, if there's some kind of reference chart. But this seems to be, so far, a pretty good space to play. Uh, you can also use this for an actual dice tray. I have to make some adjustments here. I don't like the way it's warping out. And then each of these small compartments uh, was designed for Axis and Allies Anniversary Edition. Uh, dice here, money here, and then these were for chips industrial cities and so on uh, and here's another and another built-in dice tray uh, this is currently what I, I, I left this on I haven't taken it off because I, I tend to use it uh, I think the goal for this is I'm gonna separate this and I'm gonna put actual legs on this one and this will be a this will be an act, individual board uh, it was designed to be a table topper uh, I don't know if you can tell there but that's actually what's on the bottom is the actual board uh, game table uh, let me see if I can do a quick adjustment here so everybody can see but I don't know if you can tell but that's the actual board uh, itself this board this is uh, the actual board game table I actually cut in grooves on all four sides so that you can put cards in depending on the game you're playing Let's see if I can just lift it up real quick so the viewers can see. I don't know if you can get a good view of that. So that is the actual, uh, that is an actual board game table that I also build. Uh, this is actually pretty cool because I got the felt liner in there. Uh, so it's a nice plain surface. Uh, but I pulled this out. Uh, I like this one because uh, it just, the plain surface is a little smaller. However, it does provide a lot of individual compartments. Uh, depending on the game you're playing. So if you have games that have multiple compartments, uh, I'm sorry, multiple units or, or and you need place to separate them, uh, this works out well. If you're trying to get four players on here, uh, we've been able to host a uh, pretty cool game. So this is the command center. Uh, this well, folks, I hope you, uh, everyone enjoyed the video. Uh, just to finish off, here's a couple of pictures of uh, some of the various games I've played on uh, my custom build board game table. Uh, I hope everybody enjoyed this and uh, the next video I'll be posting should be a comparison between Samurai Battles uh, GMT and uh, the old version of the game. Uh, thanks again. Uh, this is uh, Tabletop Warrior over and out.